Hey guys, Jamie here. I'm gonna be doing your rules video for our NNL qualifier here at Ultimate Ninjas in St. Louis. Uh, this is gonna be the rules for the competition. We will not be doing a full rules walkthrough at the day of the competition. For the competition, uh, for COVID precautions, everyone must be wearing a mask the entire time they're in the facility. Uh, it must block light. It must not have any valves or holes, uh, and it must fit the face without any big gaps. Uh, if you have a wire in it, that would be even better, uh, but not required. Uh, we're going off of the CDC guidelines. Uh, there's a link in the email that went out earlier if you want to check those out. So uh, when you're competing, uh, you have a separate area just for the athletes. You'll have a separate party room uh, and you guys will have a warm-up area as well. Now only you and any NNL certified coaches are allowed in there. Spectators, you can hang um, in the spectator area. Most of it's going to be on the blacktop. Uh, you'll be able to see most, if not all, of the obstacles from there. So we're going to get on to the rules video. If you have any questions, there'll be time when we get started before we run any runners or start a warm-up uh, that you guys can ask questions as a group. Then when it becomes your turn to run, you can ask any questions that you might have thought of. Uh, and then again, uh, on the course, if anything comes up, feel free to ask uh, any crazy ideas you have. I want to see you guys do some cool stuff. I want to make it fair for everyone and don't want anyone to get disqualified. My elite ninjas, here is your course rules. I hope you enjoy the course and I hope we get some clears. Hey ninjas, welcome to the rules walkthrough video for the elite division of Ultimate Ninjas NNL. Uh, so we're going to go through every course. We will not do a rules walkthrough during the day of, so pay attention. Uh, you can ask any questions you want when we get here. Uh, I'll offer it up to the group for the entire wave and then again when you get to the starting line. Everyone must be wearing a mask the entire time they're in here unless you're grabbing a drink of water. Make sure the mask hooks onto your ear so it does not uh, fall down. Uh, every athlete gets one spectator. If you have a coach, that coach does not count as a spectator, but they must be an NNL certified coach so they can come out on the floor with you. Good. At your start, I will give you a three, two, one, and it's gonna go boop, 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 boop. That's your cue to go. If you false start, we get one reset. If you false start twice, that's the end of your run, and the rest of it's a fun run, none of it will count. If you fall on any obstacle, you may continue on to the next one, but you're gonna be scored and ranked upon where your first fall is. Again, if you fall in any age division, Keep going through the course until time runs out or you complete the course. Elite, we have the skipping stones, starting platforms here. You complete the obstacle when you hit the landing platform at the end. Uh, you may utilize only feet on this obstacle all the way down to the end. I'll show you an example. Clear. Oh, landing platforms. Three criteria must be met. You must first make contact with the landing platform. You must second disengage the previous obstacle. And third, you must cross the front plane of the landing platform. Once all three are um, completed, you have now completed the obstacle. But if I'm here, I still have not completed the obstacle. You must disengage. Still not beaded it. Now I beaded it. Cool. Obstacle two, tree jumper. You got this whole blue platform jumping to the truss. Once you make contact with the truss, you've completed this obstacle. You may utilize any part of the truss or the padding that you like. Keep in mind, the padding is only Velcroed on, so you can actually unvelcro it and rip it off. I'll show you an example. Looks like this. Clear. Yep. Obstacle three, don't look down. You can utilize any of the interior bars of the horizontal truss and any bars of the vertical truss to get to the balance beam. Once you make contact with the balance beam with your foot, you've completed this obstacle. I'll give you an example. Clear. Clear. Obstacle four. You've got your balance beam. You may utilize hands on the spider wall, the truss, 
uh, but only feet on the purple edge of this. You cannot touch the brown and you cannot touch the blue. You've completed this obstacle. When you make contact with the next obstacle, it's a touch point and that one is also feet only. So I'll show you an example. Clear. Now if this obstacle is not attached, it can tip, it can slide. Ready? Good. Keep in mind, there's a uh, Velcro here, not to snag your foot. If you accidentally tip it over, remember you can only touch the purple, so you got a big jump to make. Obstacle number five, once you've made contact with your touch point, again, this is a feet only obstacle. You use any part of the quad steps, this is called fallen tree. So you have the quad steps and the green log, but not the end platforms of the green log, which you'll see in a second. You complete this obstacle when you land on the landing platform, big blue pad in the back. Clear. Two. All right, elite is these bars with your hands to get to the black bar at the top. When you make contact with the black bar, you can complete the obstacle. Feet, you can use on the wall, you can use on the bars if you want. I'll show you an example. Clear. Next up, we have downstream. From the black bar, you may use hands only on the ring, you may only use the ring, and you're ending on that red platform, cannot overshoot, obstacle is gonna start on that red platform. Clear. Next obstacle, pony hop. You got this red platform to that green platform. You use hands, feet, whatever you want. You use the carbonate. Keep in mind, carbonate bond is not attached. As the landing platform, so you must pass this plane to complete the obstacle. All right, ninjas, this is our caterpillar obstacle. Starting from this green platform, the slings are off limits the entire time. You may use hands, feet, whatever you need on the green, except for the last one, those red stripes. I'm gonna pass so you can see it. Only hands on the last one, red stripes indicator for you. You may utilize the Acorn, the head of the caterpillar, hands, feet, whichever you like, to get to the green platform at the end. I'll show you a demo. Next obstacle, sunset. You may utilize the cannonball. No bolt, no slings, like carabiner. You may utilize the green ring to get to the green platform. When you get there, you complete this obstacle. big no. We're going to walk across the balance beams. The footies are also a no, so the white only to make it all the way around. You complete this obstacle when you get to that green platform there. Cool. Clear. Next up we got the sand ladder. Start on this green platform. You complete this obstacle when you make contact with the wing nut, your hands. These are both hands only obstacles, so only hand contact will count. You may utilize the bar and any rungs that you like. It's gonna start right here on the second one. You can use this as long as you do not touch the ground getting over to that green wing nut. Once you make contact with the wing nut, use any part of the green. Again, hands only. You may utilize this wing nut, getting all the way 
to this raised green platform. Now keep in mind, these are offset. Hi. So you see they're offset. Keep in mind, this is behind you. There is some padding onto it. Shouldn't be an issue going to that. I'll show you an example. There. Next obstacle is the sea turtle. You may use hands, feet, whatever you want on the turtle egg and the turtle himself. You may not use his feet. You may use hands only on the rope. It's on a piece of Velcro, so when you grab it, it comes right off. You've completed this obstacle when you land on that green platform down the end. So the turtle legs are not attached. They'll be marked and set when you go eyes forward every time. However, if you go off track or tip it up, they can come off and that'll be on you. Next up, we have our snail. You start this obstacle. Uh, when you leave the platform, you end when you make contact with the black of the warp wall. Now, hands, feet, whatever you want, you can use on the ground anything within the border. The border itself is off limits and outside of the border is off limits. You want to come around here. For the snail itself, you have this square face. You can push it uh, hands only. You may not touch around the edge or the X. So pushing here, I'm okay. That's very questionable. That is a DQ. So it must stay on this face only. Cool. Uh, his head, his antennae are also off limits. And you have 100 pound weight added to it. I'll show you an example. Now you've completed the snail. We have the 14 and a half foot warp balls. You may use any of the run up from the previous obstacle that you like. Uh, you may not make contact with that border. And again, still off limits. You may only use the curved surface of the warp ball and the bar at the 14 and a half to make it up. That blue noodle is to remind you to stay on the side. These bars are off limits and these platforms are off limits. The platform is the top of the 14 and a half foot warp ball. Clear. Now that I've cleared the obstacle, I can make my way over to the next one any way I want without being disqualified. Okay. All right, so you can make your way down, however you feel comfortable. This is your starting platform. You may utilize the vertical truss if you want to get to the first cliffhanger here. You may only use hands on this obstacle in the green cliffhangers you have one two three and four this one is going to be off limits for you guys you complete this obstacle when you land on this green platform Clear. All right, your last obstacle, a gorilla shuffle, based off the summer shuffle. Start on this green platform. You must jump, you may only utilize those green ledges uh, and this back and bottom face. Uh, you may not grab the ends, you may not grab the tops. So just these three faces are allowed. You can do any way you want across these, down to this green platform. This is your buzzer. You may contact that. You've completed the course. As you come down here, your left side is slightly larger, but it will taper down quite quickly. 
Uh, but keep that in mind when you're going. Yeah. Dang.